Mastering the Art of Sitting Like a Lady. A Crossdresser's Guide by Sissy Tanya. Introduction. For crossdressers, mastering feminine mannerisms and posture is an important part of expressing their desired gender presentation. One aspect that often receives attention is sitting gracefully, which can greatly enhance the overall femininity of your appearance. In this tutorial, we will explore various techniques and tips to help you sit like a lady with poise and elegance. Posture and Alignment A key element of sitting like a lady is maintaining good posture and alignment. Follow these guidelines. A. Back straight. Keep your back straight and avoid slouching. Imagine a string gently pulling the top of your head towards the ceiling, elongating your spine. B. Shoulders relaxed. Roll your shoulders back and down, allowing them to rest naturally. Avoid hunching forward, as it may give the impression of masculine posture. C. Feet together. Place your feet close together or crossed at the ankles for a more feminine appearance. Avoid wide-legged or spread positions. Crossing your legs. Crossing your legs is a classic sitting posture associated with femininity. Here's how to do it gracefully. A. Knee over knee. Begin by sitting with your feet together or slightly apart. Cross one leg over the other at the knee, with the ankle resting behind the opposite calf. B. Angles and position. Aim to keep your knees and ankles close together for a neat and elegant look. Avoid pressing your legs too tightly together, as it may appear forced. C. Gentle movements. When changing leg positions or uncrossing, do it slowly and smoothly to maintain gracefulness. Knees together. If crossing your legs feels uncomfortable or impractical, sitting with your knees together is another feminine option. A. Feet together. Start by placing your feet together, preferably side by side. B. Lowering yourself. Lower yourself onto the chair while keeping your knees and thighs close together. C. Engage your core. Engaging your core muscles can help you maintain balance and an upright posture while sitting with knees together. Hand placement. The way you hold your hands can contribute to a more feminine sitting position. A. Resting on your lap. Place your hands gently on your lap, one on top of the other, with your palms facing up or resting softly against your thighs. B. Delicate gestures. You can add subtle movements like lightly clasping your hands or intertwining your fingers for an elegant touch. C. Avoid wide spreading. Keep your hand movements controlled and close to your body, avoiding wide gestures that may appear more masculine. Practice and confidence. Sitting like a lady is a skill that improves with practice. Experiment with different sitting positions and observe yourself in a mirror. Take note of your posture body language, and gestures. Confidence plays a crucial role in your overall presentation, so embrace your femininity and carry yourself with poise. Conclusion. Mastering the art of sitting like a lady requires practice, attention to posture, and embracing feminine gestures. By incorporating these tips into your daily routine and focusing on elegance and poise, you can enhance your cross-dressing experience and achieve a more authentic feminine presence. Remember, Expressing your gender identity is a personal journey, so find the sitting style that feels most comfortable and authentic to you. Sitting down in a car while wearing a short skirt or dress requires a bit of extra consideration to ensure both comfort and modesty. Here are some tips to help you navigate this situation gracefully. Approach the car. When approaching the car, be mindful of your skirt or dress. To maintain your modesty, you can A. Hold the skirt. If you're wearing a loose skirt or dress, hold the fabric slightly with one hand while you approach the car. This will prevent it from billowing up and potentially revealing more than you intend. B. Use a shawl or jacket. If you're wearing a shorter skirt or dress and feel concerned about exposure, you can drape a shawl or jacket strategically around your waist as you walk to the car. This provides an extra layer of coverage and minimizes the chances of unintentional exposure. Enter the car with care. Getting into the car gracefully is key to avoiding any wardrobe mishaps. Here's how. A. Back first. Open the car door and turn your back to the seat. Sit down first with your legs outside the car, keeping your knees together. B. Swing your legs in. Once seated, swing your legs into the car together, ensuring that your knees and thighs remain close together. 
This helps maintain modesty and prevents your skirt from riding up. C. Smooth your skirt. Once inside the car, gently smooth your skirt or dress down to ensure it falls neatly over your thighs. This will help maintain a polished appearance and prevent any bunching or wrinkling. Adjust your position. Once seated, you may need to make some minor adjustments for comfort and modesty. A. Cross your legs. If you feel comfortable and your skirt allows, you can cross your legs at the ankles or knees to maintain a feminine posture. Ensure that your skirt falls modestly and doesn't ride up excessively. B. Use a cushion or scarf. If the car seat is too low or if you want to add an extra layer of protection, you can place a small cushion or a folded scarf on the seat beneath you. This can help elevate your seating position slightly and provide additional coverage. Exiting the car. When it's time to exit the car, remember these tips. A. Slide to the edge. Scoot to the edge of the seat before standing up, ensuring that your skirt or dress stays in place. B. Keep your legs together. As you stand up, keep your knees and thighs close together to prevent any accidental exposure. C. Check your appearance. Once out of the car, take a moment to smooth down your skirt and adjust any creases or wrinkles before stepping into public view. Remember, practice makes perfect. Take some time to practice sitting down and getting out of a car in your chosen outfit before your actual outing. This will help you feel more confident and comfortable when the time comes. Ultimately, the goal is to enjoy your cross-dressing experience while maintaining your grace and poise in every situation. The End If you like my tutorial then please follow me at SissyTanya18.